hello youtube welcome to a new video my name is abuzi on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to do dodge and burn well for those of you that don't know what is dodge and burn dodge and burn basically is adding brightness to the brighter part of your image and then adding darkness to the darker part of your image well this is very important in uh, editing your image because it kind of add uh, more dimension to your image and make your image stand out and look more professional as well so without saying too much let's jump into dodge and burn so after uh doing your frequency separation what you're going to do is you are going to go over to your adjustment option here and then you select curves so on the blend mode here you are going to change it from normal to screen and then you make sure you're selecting your layer mask here and then you press command or control i to invert and then you name this folder as dodge and then you go over to your adjustment option again and then you select curves one more time and then you now change the blend mode to multiply and then you make sure you're selecting the layer mask again and then you press command or control i to invert so this time around you are going to re uh, rename the layer as burn and then you select the dodge and burn layer together and then you press command or control g to group and then you rename the group as dodge and burn so now if you open the folder we are going to find our dodge and burn layers here now how do you know where to dodge and burn first you need to understand burn is for darkening your shadows and then uh, dodge is for brightening your highlights looking at this image let's create an empty layer here and then let's uh, pick a color here we will know that we are going to be uh, brightening these areas as our highlights these areas as well and then these areas these are area the areas that are uh, that are having highlight on our image and then when when it comes to burning we know we are going to be uh burning these areas as they are areas that are having uh shadows on our image they are the darker part of our image so we are going to be burning these areas and these areas as well so for you to start doing dodge and burn first you need to make sure you are selecting normal brush and then your foreground should be white and then here on your settings of your brush you need to keep your opacity to around uh, 10 and then your flow should also be 10 as well and then you open up your layers which you have created for your dodge and burn if you are beginning with burn so you need to make sure you are selecting your burn layer and then you start burning your shadows so let's uh, burn our shadows and see so you are going to start brushing over your shadows gradually you move over to your shadows areas and boost the uh, darkness of your shadow you may not notice the effect but if you go over to your before and after you will notice you are adding effect to your shadow areas so that's how you move and the enhancing the shadows of your image and add more dimension to your image as you can see and then you go back to your dodge and then you enhance your highlights as you can see that's how we keep on brushing over your highlight areas and enhance the brightness of your highlights as you can see and then we move to the chin and something you should understand is you should make sure your brush is as big as the area you want to 
enhance the highlight or the shadow as you can see let's go back to our highlights and let's go back to the forehead and enhance the highlight on the forehead so let's do before and after on our dodge as you can see and then on our bone as well so i think we can add more shadows enhance the shadows over the forehead here as you can see So if you come over here, we can do overall before and after for our image, before, after, before, and after. As you can see, the dodge and bone has added more dimension to our image and it looks more professional and uh, a lot more better compared to without the dodge and bone. And something you should always keep at the back of your mind is this. The, not every image will require dodge and bone. If your highlights and shadows are well pronounced, then there is no point of doing dodge and bone. And the, you may encounter some images whereby they will only require you to dodge and then you dodge alone and leave the bone. And then there may be some images that will only require bone, then you dodge... Uh, then you burn your shadows and leave the highlights if the highlights are well pronounced. So that's how to go over dodge and burn as you can see. All right, let's do before, after, before, and after. All right, that's it for today's video. If you like the video, please make sure you subscribe and hit the like button as it make a huge difference in supporting the channel thank you for watching let's meet in another video